In this lesson, we're going to show you how to create a new project and then load the binary and definition files necessary to begin tuning. We'll also show you how to save a project and then quickly reload it. First, we're going to want to create a new project. To do this, click on the File menu and then select New Project. This will create a new blank project overview. Now we're going to want to load in a binary calibration file. Click on the File menu and then select Load Calibration. This will open a dialog in which you can select a binary calibration file to edit. The files you select will vary depending on your setup, which files you've purchased, and how you've organized the files on your hard disk. In our example, we have two folders set up, Stock and Modified. We'll browse to our Modified Files folder and select one of the more common files, the VRAA6S3 80 Daily Driver file. This calibration is commonly referred to as the PMT1 calibration. Click Open and the file will now be loaded into the project. Clicking the plus sign in front of the calibration list confirms that the file is loaded. At this point we want to add in a stock binary overlay so that we can compare the modified calibrations to the original factory ones. Once again, we'll click on the file menu and select Load Calibration. This time we're going to browse to the Stock Files folder. We're going to select the VRAA6S3 binary from the available files and then click Open. One thing to keep in mind is that the only file capable of being edited is the first one you load into the project. All subsequent files are strictly used for reference and cannot be changed. You can load in up to seven overlays for a total of eight files, each with its own individual display color. It is not necessary to load an overlay in order to edit a binary, but it is sometimes helpful to have a visual reference. In this example, you can see that the modified file is in black and the stock one is in red. Once you've loaded your binaries, you'll need to load into the appropriate definition. In the case of most Ford processors, the related definition is identified by the first five digits of the calibration file. In our case, where we are using the VRAA6S3 calibration, our definition file will be VRAA6. To load the definition, click on the file menu and then select Load Definition. Browsing through our definition folders, we'll select the VRAA6 definition and then click Open. Clicking the plus sign in front of the definition list confirms that the file is loaded. With our binary and definition files loaded, we can now save the current project so that it can be quickly reopened without having to reload the binary and definition file separately. Click on the file menu and then click Save Project As. In the dialog window, browse to the appropriate folder and then enter the name you wish to save the project under. We'll name this one VRAA6S3 Daily Driver. Click Save and the project is stored. If we go back to the file menu, we'll now see that the project has been added into the recently used projects at the bottom of the list. This allows the recent project to be quickly opened with a single click. Now we'll close the current project. By clicking on the file menu and then on VRAA6S3 Daily Driver, the project is quickly reopened. By clicking on the plus sign in front of the calibration and definition lists, we can see the files have been successfully reloaded and are ready for tuning. This concludes the tutorial on the usage of Minotaur project files. If you have any questions, please contact PowerHungry Performance and we'll be happy to assist you.